we'll be talking about the various aspects of data and we're we'll talking about the measures from the perspective of <coughs> of uh, uh, how this data uh, have different shapes and forms and how the measurement itself um, should be connected in different levels. This part of all also one of the key principles that only the things that you can measure can be improved. So <clears throat> when we look at the, the first, what do we want to measure? We look at startup ingredients. So startups and startup process, uh, as well as startup ecosystems and activities can all be identified, mapped, measured and improved. So, uh, to measure uh, the ultimate output of an ecosystem is, of course, a measurement of how effectively startups emerge, develop and grow out successfully out of the ecosystem. So, therefore, measuring the progress of a startup uh, is key, as well as measuring each of the support processes contributing for the development of the startup are key. But because of these factors, uh, the startups themselves and the ecosystems supporting them can definitely be, all the key elements can be identified, mapped, measured, and therefore improved. <clears throat> so, if we think about generally about data and metrics in ecosystem, it has many services and service paths. Uh, it is to find bottlenecks, remove overlaps, develop in balance so that we are not, you know, over developing some function, uh, specifically like later later development phase in how to scale companies, and at the same time we see that oh, but we don't have enough talent and new ideas developing to to these scale services. So input and output volumes of each service uh, to measure, analyze, iterate and improve these services, improve overall efficiency, learn from others, compare and benchmark with others. So really to understand again here that uh, any software that we use is just a tool. The data is the source of the value where we can pull this type of information from the interactions we document into systems the interactions that the software does by people using the software and so forth. So let's look at the KPIs uh, a bit more closely. So <clears throat> what do we need to measure? Uh, we need to measure the startup's progress and contributing factors. So meaning that how the startups come together and what are the different factors to contribute that. We need to measure individual service intake, so we think of the process, um, where does it come from, what quality of um, uh, talent or startups are we taking in, with what criteria, what is the process that we apply, what is the improved output, uh, how efficient was that process and what is the quality feedback of the experience of navigating through that. Uh, and then, of course, return of investment of the overall uh, service. Outcome of ecosystem development actions. So these are the development initiatives. So to put an initiative in place, we have a target. We are trying to do something split by certain criteria. We have the development phase of so we are initiating it. It's in progress. Uh, it's, it's a second generation version. Uh, it's operating with this type of funding and so forth. And then also benchmark these uh, development initiatives locally, nationally and internationally. So let's look at measuring startups progress. So we can look at the whole ecosystem as a funnel, not a closed funnel, but an open funnel through a lens of those different support services that are there. Um, but we can map it also on top of the development phases. So in each of the development phases, we can look at the input of companies arriving or talent arriving to that development phase and the output of uh, companies or talent coming from uh, that development phase. So 
applicants, uh, how many applicants, what type of applicants, how many graduates, uh, entry per source, so where did these applicants came from, how many dropped off in, in between the development phases, what are the total numbers. So these types of criteria we can have in every single development phase and with this type of uh, funnel measuring we can also identify you know, how much is missing between the development phases. We captured them here, we measured them here, they never arrived here. So how many did we lost along the way? Maybe the, the startup blew out, maybe the team exploded in the sense that the co-founders didn't want to work together. You name it, we can track it. Also, how many new we have coming outside of our ecosystem? This, is, this may be talent, it may be startup moving from one ecosystem to another, uh, and so forth. So how many new ones we captured that we didn't capture earlier, and where did they come from and why so? So this is the types of high-level final measuring that can be put in place, and this information can be collected through those service, services and the applications. And but only if it's connected to a shared infrastructure that captures the individuals and the service data. So measuring ecosystem services is to apply com uh, commonly agreed open standard KPIs in places of similar services, a specific, and also different services, but that are catering on the same development phases. Having ecosystem level measures having open standard measures for uh, similar service uh, or uh, services on same development phases and collecting that data uh, with a actual data sharing infrastructure. Instead of manually collecting, connecting one time using as many times uh, in the future as needed, in as many places as needed. The key is to understand the big benefit of plugging digitally in versus manually repeating costly and slowly, uh, slow uh, exercises that give poor outcomes in non-open uh, standard format. Measuring the business ideas into businesses, talent into founders, into organizations. And with that information collected, depending on how gradual and detail that can be can, is collected, it can always be aggregated into higher level and a higher level, ultimately into a whole ecosystem level. So finding different way levels of sensible uh, visualization for different needs. And as said, um, by using this type of framework and common language and open standard models that allow uh, validated, proven, measured ways uh, of improving things as new uh, shared collective resource. Uh, it can bring these types of global benefits, uh, global connectivity, global comparability, without losing the local effectiveness and ability to focus on uh, more using more resources for things that measure while having also the control in the local level. So to identify startups in these different development phases uh, is, is described to be able to, to effectively have a common language of measuring them through identifying them based on their characteristics in a way that makes sense in an ecosystem development and global collaboration perspective, not only what makes sense as a local uh, government definition or funding instrument definition of what is a startup or what is not. That is not progress-based uh, way of identifying them. So we discussed about the ecosystems where the startups seed, so that's where to, to seek for them to identify <coughs> uh, the description in the formation phase Startup is born when IPRs and founding integral team members commit to contribute and build value and confirm this value by capture to a company with a founder shareholder agreement. 
so the company may still be registered or will only be registered two years from now, but there is a shareholder agreement that we see in place. So there's something that actually says. So before this type of identification can be known, it's something that is still in the formation phase. This is the output from the formation phase. So from formation to support, uh, uh, from formation support functions, you can collect data and information uh, and sources for assets, IPRs, APIs, uh, data, market challenges. Uh, you can capture information uh, to promote uh, and market the function. Uh, you can promote pre-shareholder model. You can track marketing effectiveness via web traffic and KPIs. So, so these are the types of things you can capture information. Uh, you can promote using the development phases. Uh, you can promote some tools that with those tools you are able to capture the information that you need and so forth. And the types of uh, KPIs you can collect from formation services. You have uh, volume based measures like number of assets, resources and tools uh, in pool library. You can measure volume and quality of sources of talent, like where this the talent came from. You can have quality of sources and channels. Uh, you can measure the talent itself, and then you can measure the quality of sources and channels based on the quality of the talent. You can measure the volume, number of challenges, uh, challenges or problems defined uh, to work uh, work on. So identify challenges and problems, defined, uh, number of events organized, number of potential ideas formed, quality of ideas formed, even from a collective voting uh, function, as long as it's every time the same way how to do it, uh, volume of number of ideas and or teams moving forward, volume uh, number of participants, total number of new participants, and so forth. So this is to give an idea, uh, or, or the measuring the the idea to business side uh, from the formation services. The types of uh, KPI categories are here, like the volume, quality, uh, return of investment, and velocity. And then. <clears throat> Other aspect to look at from the startup <coughs> idea, quality of ideas formed. So what are the outputs? So problem solution fit, market potential, market timing, volume of uh, co-founder reads, uh, volume of co-founder discussions. So really looking at the organization side. Uh, and then measuring the team's commitment. You can have uh, formation services for building the team, so you have volume, number of potential teams entering to commitment validation. Uh, so this can be like a zero workshop, uh, volume and quality of sources of teams, volume, number of committed teams, so who, who actually decided to commit, make a shareholder agreement, uh, quality of teams, like what are their past skills, what is the balance of their skills, quality of uh, shareholder agreement, uh, quality of legal support by partner. So if you have someone there uh, to provide support for this function, uh, quality of service function, customer's feedback, velocity time from enter to sign shareholder agreement. So organizing a uh, matchmaking event for co-founders as one formation services, then having a shareholder workshop, how to negotiate with your team. The output should be shareholder agreement, some support provider there. Now measuring that, what was the effectiveness of this service from co-founder matching to what was the quality and output of the committed team members or to committed teams forming a startup. What is the ROI, uh, so return of investment of the whole support function? And, uh, and then 
startup team related KPIs. So this would be measuring a uh, number of meetings needed independently or with advisors by those team members, number of team members restructuring needed. So when they negotiate, then they say, well, you are not fit for the co-founding team. So for how many times they need to repeat that until they were able to have a close zero agreement that now we have the team in place, we can focus on executing. Number of shareholder drafts, versions, iterations. So how many times do they have to go process whether through a lawyer or without the lawyer or, or whatnot until it's done. So these are all um, process-based measures to really measure the effectiveness of the services in a formation phase. And then on the validation phase, and, and of course these are not like all, in, all included metrics, these are samples to highlight uh, how to measure effectively uh, a, a type of measures that make sense in the overall output of the ecosystem, like measuring all of the development phases and types of activities with logical measures that actually contribute to the overall output of the entire ecosystem. So the validation phase, now <clears throat> when the company comes from formation phase, they enter validation phase, and the output of the validation phase is a startup is ready to grow after the core team's ability and commitment to build and execute the vision is validated and product have clear customer and market validation. So in the previous ways, the formation output was that there's actually a team in place, there's IPRs committed, there's the co-founders committed to build and the product. So the validation is before going to scaling is that now that team has worked together, uh, they have managed to build a product, they have managed to validate there is a demand and so forth. So this is the output of the validation. So the types of uh, KPIs in the validation services, so support services in the validation phase, uh, the common logical uh, measures, KPIs are something like volume, number of teams entering the validation, volume and quality sources of teams, again, where did they come from, how did they hear about, quality of teams, quality of the sale agreement, validating again here, while it was output from the other place, it's an input here. Quality of potential innovation, problem solution fit, uh, market potential, market timing, so the measure output from the other one, input measure of this one. Quality of partners and trainers, so customers, advisors, feedback. Uh, quality of service function, uh, customers feedback, velocity, time from entry to validation, so when they start uh, basically to build the product versus when they have product market fit, how long did it take on average for this team and measuring from all the teams, uh, return of investment, cost of support function, output and conversion rate, so how, how much do we lost along the way in these development phases in general. <clears throat> And then from startup validation related KPIs, so this is again two dimensions measuring on one hand the support side and on one hand the startup making progress uh, in context of the support uh, service. So volume, number of assumptions to validate, so they have assumptions that this product works because of A, B and C, now it didn't work because of A, it didn't work because of B, it didn't work because of C, we kind of Maybe it works because of D, oh, it works because of D. Uh, quality methods to validate in place. So how do they go about validating A, B, and C? Uh, volume, number of actions validating assumptions. So how many times they, how many actions uh, they are taking, how quickly they can take those actions. Uh, results of validations. So how do they document uh, the outcomes? Um, and they are all like these are all coming from existing tools of 
you know, validate some canvases and, and so forth. So this is all coming from the typical activities that the teams do or should do if they have like the, the consumed all the proper knowledge for how to build the companies. Volume and quality uh, of data to evaluate versus effort of getting it versus usefulness. So when they are doing the validation, what, well, what data are they looking to evaluate how hard it was for them to get it. So if they want to test with more customers, how did they find those customers, how they were able to reach them, how quickly they, should, they got answers from those customers versus how useful that those answers were. Um, quality, happy customers, users, quality, paying customers, users, volume, so projects if prior to product, and so forth, um, and so forth. Quality of pitch, uh, volume of business model canvas iterations, <clears throat> and so forth. So again, indicative uh, types of measures that make sense from to measuring the progress that contributes to the ultimate output of the ecosystem. <clears throat> growth, now growth output is now, uh, on the previous phase, the company was ready for growth when it has product market fit validated and it had validated capable team that was executing. And now the growth phase is about scaling, multiplying all required things that are validated to work in most efficient way. While having clear methods in place to actively measure and validate the scaling processes and overall progress. So, Growth has, doesn't, of course, have output uh, as such, so growth is expected to continue. So, so for growth, it's more about understanding when the company is specifically on a growth phase. And on the growth phase, the types of uh, service side KPIs would be types like number of interactions for investors, uh, to channels, to customers, quality measures, matching results from introductions. So if making introductions with this company and investors, what was the, the, the likelihood of positive outcome, uh, quality of advisory, uh, quality of trainings, velocity, so independ independency uh, uh, slash handoff to others to take home in advisory strategy support. So in some ecosystems, there are services where there's Support service taking a lot of like the board role of strategic help, uh, but how well does that handoff between uh, actual board members or like more investors coming to invest and into the board of the company take kind of on that type of support that some of these companies have come used to in their development while they have been in the incubator or accelerator service. And then startup growth related KPIs. Now we have measuring the startups or startups measuring themselves, types of things like uh, quality of go to market strategy, inbound traffic growth, inbound traffic uh, quality, uh, outbound contact volumes, outbound conversation funnels, development, conversion rates, uh, and so forth, and, and even more quality of volume of customers, balance between happy versus unhappy customers, partner network quality, volume development. And a lot of these measures come up actually from uh, the KPIs that are on the scaling module or educated for the, in the growth academy for the talent and startup founders themselves. So again, the key is that that type of knowledge is also uh, connected with the ecosystem development knowledge so that everyone is having uh, opportunity at least to talk the same language uh, between these uh, two sides of the development effort. And then turning that into measuring ecosystems. So, uh, Connections and dependencies is that uh, again the only things that can be measured can be improved. Like in all ecosystems, many things with startup ecosystem impact to many other things within 
uh, with holistic approach, things will eventually show up in top level metrics, but it's important to break things down in smaller, more understandable and digestible pieces to gain focus and get faster feedback loop for learning and measuring. So it's important to also understand the measure dependencies. <clears throat> so when we look at the key actors of startup ecosystems, we have, of course, the broader economic development perspective. We have people, talent entrepreneurs, business angels, mentors. We have support organizations and services. And then we have the, the entities, the startups, uh, by talent being developed. And when we look at uh, development focus areas, basically that we also already used in those, <coughs> in those uh, sample KPIs, we have items to improve. We have you know, things that we are trying to improve, innovation, talent, entrepreneurship, support, money, growth. And on the other side, on the horizontal side, we have volume measures, we have quality measures, we have velocity measures, uh, and we have return of investment measures. So volumes are pretty self-explaining quality Velocity is really to, to, to look at how quickly something happens from here to here to there. If I apply for support funding, when I apply it, how quickly can I get it, the decision? Uh, so this type of uh, approach helps to see the dependencies of these things. So when we look at the vertical elements and the, the horizontal, elements we can now <clears throat> this this type of framework uh, when we think about kpis we can always ask what are we specifically trying to improve so we have items to improve we're improving innovation we are trying to improve talent we are trying to entrepreneurs so forth we are trying to what values of those we are trying to improve volume quality velocity so we're trying to improve volume of innovation. So this uh, balanced development framework helps to really bring this into an understandable format. What are we trying to improve? So this goes into those development initiatives that we are putting in place. We're trying to improve the volume of talent. And with this type of model, when we collect enough of the measures from the ecosystem services with a consistent logic, we can now get like an index perspective into uh, the outputs of all of the different development activities to see did we manage to improve <coughs> velocity of entrepreneurship, did we manage to improve the return of investment for support and when we calculate these types of index uh, uh, measures out of innovation or we calculate the index out of volumes and we calculate index of both, we can start to see a in sensible index out of the whole ecosystem, but also we can see the dependencies and correlations of what happened with uh, different, uh, different development initiatives potential impacts to other areas. And of course, uh, we can then also break that down into, uh, into any specific development uh, phase uh, perspective as well. So that is now uh, enough for the module two. Uh, so uh, 